What is going on everybody? My name is Ness and welcome to episode 2 of Trading 2 Team of the Season Cristiano Ronaldo and I am very pleased with uh, yesterday's video because we smashed over 750 motherfucking likes which is absolutely insane and I did ask you guys well, I basically asked you guys two questions, starting with zero coins or 50k, or and uh, giving away Ronaldo with a security question, or just a random giveaway. And the results are: I have to start with zero coins, and I have to give Ronaldo away to someone who gives me the correct answer on my security question, which is what was my nickname when I was basically younger. And I'm gonna be giving you tips throughout the whole series, so you guys can basically give me the correct answer because without any tips, basically, you will never, ever, ever ever guess it trust me you will never ever ever guess it but uh yeah i'm just very pleased with the uh, with this uh, result and let's see if we can smash another 700 likes on today's video for another video tomorrow and a 50,000 coin giveaway on either the xbox or the playstation all you gotta do is like the video and then leave a comment in the comment section down below on what console you want but uh yeah let's jump into the trading boys so when i realized i had to trade with zero coins I started up my ultimate team and you go, you guys know you started with 500, 500 ultimate team coins and a free bronze pack. So I opened the bronze pack, listed everything on the trade pile, put all these players up on the market and it is one hell of a time to sell these players because n literally no one buys them and when I buy them, I buy them uh, to basically uh, send a trade offer to another account or just like swap uh, players with, with someone else or someone else who has to send me a player. I basically buy bronze players whenever I need them for a trade offer that's basically it and I think these players that I did sell um, also got bought because of the because of well basically because people needed them for a trade offer except for the for the Sama guy who plays for Liverpool he sold for 850 coins which is well pretty nice to have and the rest basically just didn't sell after listing them five times so I thought you know what I'm gonna discard all of you and uh, yeah we end up with uh, nearly well nearly 25 2500 coins which is not too bad so then I started thinking like what can you do with this amount of coins during the team of the season no one is interested in uh, in silver players well some are but not many play not many people are and I needed cards to sell quickly so I thought well today's Champions League day it is today but yeah I did this yesterday so I thought you know what I'm gonna buy kits and badges from Real Madrid because they sell instantly most of the time. So I picked um, some some kits and some badges up for 150. Well, most of them for 150 and uh, a couple for 250 and one kit I think for 300 coins. So uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty pretty easy technique to do to be honest because uh, people are just too lazy to uh, to uh, place an open bid on these badges and kits. So they buy them for uh, for a buy now and these uh, real kits and badges go for nearly 700 coins. Sometimes 650, sometimes 600. And uh, yeah, we did sell uh, all of these uh, all of these uh, real kit real kits and badges. And I went onto the market and made a pretty huge mistake, to be honest, because uh, there was one person who uh, basically price fixed the uh, the Kaiser Chiefs uh, badges, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick some up for cheaper, you know. And I'm not gonna lie, I picked them up for 1,600 coins and 1,100 coins, and I got pretty lucky here by selling them on for a profit of uh, well, 2.5k uh, each of them. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Normally these badges go for like 1000 coins, but because of the price fix, I think I got pretty lucky. I sold these for 2500 coins. And uh, yeah, th this is basically just how you how you get from zero coins to well nearly 10,000 coins. It is it is for me, for me it, the best technique is trading with badges and kits. Uh, because at the moment no one is interested in um, in silver players. Everyone wants a team of the season players and pack openings. And but yeah, sometimes you just feel like changing your Changing your badges and kits, that's what I do most of the time, so I quickly get bored of uh, of badges and kits and I just buy new ones. And that's what most people do, I think, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna benefit from that uh, and I'm gonna be trading in badges and kits. That's exactly what I did, and we end this episode uh, basically with one gold pack, 7.5k coins, which is not bad at all. So uh, I hope you guys did learn something from this video, and I hope, and especially hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, let's try and smash over 700 likes for a 50,000 coin giveaway, and another video tomorrow have uh, have fun tonight watching the champions league final and uh yeah boys i'll talk to you boys all next time peace